Hello everyone, welcome again to my English channel presented by Ahmed Sayar. Please like, share and follow and do not forget to subscribe. So, this video is intended to common core students visa to the world this is the textbook we are working with unit number two education number one we are going to start with the part number one meeting classmates okay let's go ahead then all right so the content today we are going to go through pronunciation practice in this video grammar practice we are going also to see listening and uh, communication and reading also we are going to go through word nets and we are going to end up by writing all right let's start then be prepared please good we we'll start with listen and read again listen and read please unit two education Meeting classmates. Listen and read. Lola, is this your book? No, it's Johan's. Who's Johan? Johan van Eck. He's a Dutch student. Excuse me? He is from Holland. Johan, this is Maria from Morocco. She's in our English class. Nice to meet you, Maria. Nice to meet you, Johan. Is this your book? Oh, yes, it is. Thank you. All right. Now let's move to the comprehension questions first. Match the pictures with the conversations. So we have here two pictures. Picture number one and picture number two. We have also two conversations. The first one ends in he's from Holland and the third, second one ends in thank you. Then we need to read the statements below and write true and false uh, questions. Okay. Great. Let's move on now. Grammar practice. Now, the possessive case apostrophe S questions with whose. Example, whose book is this or whose book is that? It's Johann's. Whose scissors are these? Whose scissors, scissors are those? They're Albert's. Pay attention here. This uh, is a singular. The plural form is these that those all right now let's practice now try to ask questions please about the pictures now for example picture number one whose book is that it's johan's picture number two whose pencil case is that it's maria's and alberto now whose pencils are these they're Alberto's. So finish the exercise, please, in your exercise copy book and try to make questions and answers. All right, let's move on. Listening. Now, before you listening, before listening, so do you like language games? So if you do, language games is a very important game so do you like language games yes or no now listen to the conversation and correct the two statements so first exercise you are going to do is to listen and then correct these two statements silvio answers 10 questions silvio has one brother and one sister let's start unit 2 education meeting classmates listening now whose turn is it to answer the questions it's your turn silvio come up here and answer your classmates questions silvio what's your family name benetti my family's name is benetti where are you from excuse me what nationality are you i'm italian i'm from italy what's your hometown my parents live in varis but my school is in milan what does your father do excuse me What's your father's job? Oh, he's a photographer. And what does your mother do? She's a bus driver. Alberto, any questions? Yes. Who is bus driver? Your mother or your father? My mother is. My father is a photographer. 
Any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have one sister. How old is she? Uh, she's 23. She's a student in Rome, our capital. All right, so two sentences are not correct. Try to correct them, please. Now, B, read the statements, then listen again and write. Please pause the video, okay? Read these eight sentences. All right, now listen again to the audio and write true or false. Unit 2. Education. Meeting classmates. Listening. Now whose turn is it to answer the questions? It's your turn, Silvio. Come up here and answer your classmates' questions. Silvio, what's your family name? Benetti. My family's name is Benetti. Where are you from? Excuse me? What nationality are you? I'm Italian. I'm from Italy. What's your hometown? My parents live in Varis, but my school is in Milan. What does your father do? Excuse me? What's your father's job? Oh, he's a photographer. And what does your mother do? She's a bus driver. Alberto, any questions? Yes. Who is bus driver? Your mother or your father? My mother is. My father is a photographer. Any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have one sister. How old is she? Uh, she's 23. She's a student in Rome, our capital. All right. So again, just write true and false questions. Good. Let's move on now. Communication. Now, giving and eliciting information about occupation. So you can ask, when you want to know someone's occupation, you just say, what does your father do? So he is a photographer. You can also say, what does your father do? Or what does your mother do? What's your father's job? Okay, what's your father's job? Great, so look at the examples here. You have, what's Mr. Benity's job? Excuse me? Mr. Benity, what does he do? So we have two kinds of questions here. Now, try to practice, please. Ask questions and answers about these jobs. Good. So in your exercise copybook, you write the question and the answer. For example, what does John do? Excuse me? John. What's his job? So here, the, the answer is going to be, oh, he's a photographer. All right. Do the exercise in your exercise copybook, please. Let's move on. Now, reading. Guess before you read. Guess where Maria's classmates are from. Write the name of the country. So, just guess, please. I think Maria is from Morocco. I think Johan is from Morocco, from Italy, for example. Lola can be from Spain. Pierre, I don't know, maybe France. Alberto, maybe Portugal. Silvio, he can be from Spain. Alejandra, maybe from Italy. Keita, I don't know. Belgium. Okay, great. So just from the name, guess these people, country. All right, let's move on now. This is the text. Now you read the text and you check your answers for exercise A. And don't forget to write the names of the cities, which is very important. So again, correct these, please, from the text and write the city or the name of the cities. Good. Then when you finish, you move to exercise C. Read the text to answer the, the questions. So the questions you have here, six questions, okay? You can answer them in your exercise copybook. Very good. Let's move on. This is the next exercise. These words are underlined in the text. What do they refer to? So we have the country. What country are we talking about? It. It refers to what? They, who am I talking about here? And he refers to 
whom I am, am I talking? Yes. Next one. Next exercise. Ask more questions about the text. So use what, where, who, and whose to ask questions about the text in your exercise copybook. All right, let's move on now. Writing. Read the information about the students in the chart and write a paragraph about one of them. So, Silvio, 17, a country, Italy, school, Primera, uh, Vares, photographer, father, mother, bachelor, football. Okay. So, now, this is how you write a paragraph about Silvio. Okay. So, Silvio is 17 years old. He's from Italy. And you finish the paragraph like this. And the same paragraph can be written in the other form. You can say Silvio is 17 years old, he is Italian, or he is from Italy. So you can say his, uh, his school is uh, Primera in Varese, or you can say he goes to Primera school. He lives in Varese, okay? Great. So you can write both paragraphs about Mary and Omar. All right. Please do this in your exercise copybook. Let's move on. Unit number two, education, school life. Listen and read, please. Unit two, education, school life. Listen and read. Every day, Maria gets up at 7 a.m. She has breakfast at 7.30 and listens to the radio. At 8.30, she goes to the English Institute. She goes by bus. She studies English from 9 a.m. to 11.30. At 12, she goes to the library and works on the computer until 1.30 p.m. Then she has lunch with her classmates in the institute cafeteria. In the afternoon, she goes swimming or plays squash in the institute sports center. In the evening, she has dinner with the Dickens at 7. After dinner, she watches TV. Then she goes to bed at 11 p.m. She doesn't go to the institute on the weekend. On Saturday, she goes shopping. And on Sunday, she does her homework and relaxes. All right. Now, read the text and underline all the verbs, please. Okay? Try to find all the verbs in the text. Very good. Let's move on now. Again, write the verbs under the appropriate pictures. Look at the example. So, the verbs you took from the text, you put them in the correct place. Like, for example, 10, and in 10, it is get up. I can help you with the text again to listen to it again, okay? Unit 2. Education. School life. Listen and read. Every day, Maria gets up at 7 a.m. She has breakfast at 7.30 and listens to the radio. At 8.30, she goes to the English Institute. She goes by bus. She studies English from 9 a.m. to 11.30. At 12, she goes to the library and works on the computer until 1.30 p.m. Then she has lunch with her classmates in the institute cafeteria. In the afternoon, she goes swimming or plays squash in the institute sports center. In the evening, she has dinner with the Dickens at 7. After dinner, she watches TV. Then she goes to bed at 11 p.m. She doesn't go to the institute on the weekend. On Saturday, she goes shopping. And on Sunday, she does her homework and relaxes. Good. Now you can do the exercise and write the verbs in the appropriate picture. All right, let's move on now. Grammar practice. So the, verb to be, the, the other verbs, simple present, third person singular. Lives. Silvio lives in Varese. Silvio doesn't live in Milan. Does Silvio li live in Varese? Yes, he does. Short answer. Does Silvio live in Rabat? No, he doesn't. Short answer again. Where does Silvio live? All right. Excellent. Let's move now to some practice. Now, before practice, let's look at let's look at time expressions here. At eight, at night, at midnight. 
at night, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, on weekdays, on weekends, on Mondays, until 10 o'clock, from 2 to 3, after lunch, before lunch. All right, let's now go to a little bit practice. Yes, now use the information and the pictures in section number one to practice the positive form. Maria gets up at 7 o'clock a.m., the negative form. Maria doesn't go to the institute on Sunday. Yes or no question. Does Maria get up at 7 a.m.? Yes, she does. Does she go to the institute on Sunday? No, she doesn't. WH question. What does she do on Sunday? She relaxes at home. Now, this here is just a practice of the simple present in the third person form. Great. Now, complete these sentences with the correct preposition or adverb. Yes, take your time, please. Great. Let's move on. Now, listening. Before you listen, Sylvia's sister is a student at the University of Naples. What does she do in the weekend? Listen, please, and answer the question. Unit 2. Education. School life. Listening. My sister, Sonia, is a hard-working student. She studies economics at the University of Naples. Every day, she gets up at 6.30 and walks to the train station. She takes the 6.45 train and arrives at the university at 7.00. She has breakfast in the cafeteria before she goes to class. Her first course, maths, begins at 8 every day. Then she has a history course. At 12.30, she has a sandwich and goes back to class at 1 o'clock. At 2 o'clock, she hurries to the train station to catch the 2.30 train back home. Sonia's favorite pastime is music. In the evening, she takes piano lessons in a small school near her flat. When she arrives home at 8, she does her homework, has dinner, then goes to bed at 11.30. Of course, she doesn't have courses on the weekend, but on Saturday morning, she goes to the library to work on her project. In the afternoon, she goes out with her friends. On Sunday, she does the housework in the morning and watches television in the afternoon. All right, now... Silvio's sister is a student at the University of Naples. What does she do in the weekend? So you have all the answers in the listening. Great. Now, let's listen again to Silvio talking about his sister's daily activities. Now you are going to number the pictures from 1 to 11. Listen again, please. Unit 2. Education. School life. Listening. My sister, Sonia is a hard-working student. She studies economics at the University of Naples. Every day, she gets up at 6.30 and walks to the train station. She takes the 6.45 train and arrives at the university at 7. She has breakfast in the cafeteria before she goes to class. Her first course, maths, begins at 8 every day. Then she has a history course. At 12.30, she has a sandwich and goes back to class at 1 o'clock. At 2 o'clock, she hurries to the train station to catch the 2.30 train back home. Sonia's favorite pastime is music. In the evening, she takes piano lessons in a small school near her flat. When she arrives home at 8, she does her homework, has dinner, then goes to bed at 11.30. Of course, she doesn't have courses on the weekend, but on Saturday morning, she goes to the library to work on her project. In the afternoon, she goes out with her friends. On Sunday, she does the housework in the morning and watches television in the afternoon. All right. Now just write the numbers under each uh, picture, okay? From number one to number 11. Let's move on now. All right. Practice now. 
before practice let's look at communication talking about daily activities and school timetables you can say what time do you go to school i go to school at 7 30. what do you study on friday from 8 to 11. i study arabic from 8 to 9 and english from 9 to 10. here there is a timetable of two students okay now if they try to answer each other's questions and ask the questions and answer their questions they are going to make good sentences student a look at the days they, it's it's not written but in student b b it's written so you have m and w which means monday and wednesday the time in student a is 8 30 11 uh, 8 30 10 o'clock and the time in uh, student b doesn't exist so the room is 145 it's the same room but the uh, the same the room but uh, they have composition and sociology great so now here try to make sentences okay good for example when does she have composition and you can say on monday and wednesday what time does she have composition from 8 to from 8 30 to 10 o'clock great go on making questions and answers all right let's move on reading now again read this text please and write true or false for the four sentences and when you finish reading then do the task in b complete the chart about the students workplace number of hours per week and the money they earn per week stop the video please read the text and just do your homework all right good let's move on now wordness now here you are going to write this chart in your exercise copy books and then you copy all the items which go with the uh, subject you have the appropriate column so put the correct item in the correct column okay so we have objects subjects and people good let's move on now unit number two education school around the world that's part number three then okay let's start with the text listen and read please unit 2 education school around the world listen and read alan from england has a lot of homework every day he says in my school classes always finish at 2 p.m it is good because we have time to do our homework in the afternoon we often study for tests so we rarely have time to meet our friends and enjoy ourselves good now let's listen to uh, latifa what is she going to say unit two education school from around the world listen and read latifa takes evening classes she says i usually have classes in the morning and in the afternoon the morning class is always at 12 o'clock and everybody goes home for lunch the afternoon classes start at 2 p.m and they rarely finish before 6 p.m I never have time to watch TV because I take evening math classes. Very good. Now let's listen to Li from China. Unit 2. Education. School from around the world. Listen and read. Li from China has to clean her school. She says, There are no classes on the weekend, of course. But we sometimes go to school on Saturday to clean the classroom. We sweep the floor, clean the windows, and fix the chairs and tables. It is hard work, but I have fun working with my classmates. All right, excellent. Now, comprehension, read these statements and write true or false. Good luck with your exercise. All right, let's move on. Grammar practice. So, simple present, the affirmative, negative, and interrogative form okay and 
adverbs of frequency so here you have as you see here always usually often sometimes rarely and never so if the action is repeated every day every now and then every time so we are going to say always 100 percent so then usually it's less 80 percent then often again it's less 60 percent sometimes it's going to be 40 percent rarely is 20 percent and never it's zero percent when you say i never do my homework which means the action never happens great let's move on now grammar practice complete the converse this conversation use the verbs in brackets please try first to put the verbs in brackets these verbs in the correct form okay when you finish then put the adverbs of frequency in the correct place always in this sentence where is it going to be is it going to be in the beginning or right here after the subject or after the verb or at the end of the sentence please practice and then we are going to correct later in the next video exercise the next exercise look at the diagram and write sentences about nabil's daily activities so here you have nabil watch tv in the evening where is watch tv yes it's here so what's the adverb of frequency i'm going to use here zero persons is going to be never and here 100 person is going to be always so if this is always then this is going to be usually this is going to be often this is going to be sometimes and this is going to be rarely try to use them in the correct sentence please good luck all right listening before you listen what are your favorite school subjects which subjects do you like to study in the morning why listen to mari and fill in her timetable with school subjects unit 2 education schools around the world listening at my school there are seven lessons per day Four lessons in the morning and three lessons in the afternoon. My favorite day is Friday because we begin with double French and I'm rather good at this subject. After the break at 10 o'clock, we have a music lesson. I find it hard, but the teacher is interesting. Then for the fourth lesson, we have computing. During the lunch hour, I eat in the canteen and I play table tennis with my friends in the sports hall. The afternoon is great. I have gymnastics for two hours and for the last lesson of the day, I have art. I'm useless at art, but it's relaxing and the teacher always makes us. All right. Good. Now let's move on, please. Communication. Talking about daily activities and habits. You can say, do you always go to school? Yes, I always go to school. Or no, I never go to school. Do you always work on the computer? No, I never work on the computer. Sometimes when you want to ask about frequency, or most of the time you use how often. How often do you work on the computer? And the answer, I sometimes work on the computer. I always work on the computer. I never work on the computer. All right, now a very good exercise here. Use this questioner to know more about your classmates. Tick his or her answers in the appropriate column. Ask your friends, please. Ask him some of the questions. You can, for example, for number one, you can say, do you always get up late on school days? And if he's, he is a good uh, good boy, good student, hardworking one, he's going to say, no, oh, never. Then you tick never. If he's a lazy one, he's going, he's going to say, always. Then you tick always can ask how often they get up late on school days and he is going to say for example always then he is going to be a real uh, lazy student then a very important exercise here look at these adjectives now try to find much the correct adjective with the correct sentence here example look at o oh, talkative okay here talkative so talkative goes with number three talk a lot in the class now someone who talks a lot in the class is 
talkative okay talkative so please try to find here the correct adjective with the correct sentence that's a very nice exercise it's like trying to give a definition to these adjectives by choosing the correct sentence here please do this exercise in your exercise copybook good luck great now let's go to reading which students are the sentences about write p or for pit s for sally and m for michael please read these three sentences please and write either p s or m then you read the text and you do exercise b read the caption again and answer these questions please answer these questions from this text good luck all right now let's go over a review of unit number one and unit number two in this dialogue there are 16 mistakes in this dialogue find the mistakes and correct them again 16 mistakes stop the video please and try to find the mistakes that's a challenging exercise good luck next exercise vocabulary a answer these questions example my father's brother is my uncle b write the nationalities for these countries c match the words in column a with their opposites in column b think of other adjectives and d what are their jobs she works in a hospital so she's going to be either i'm not going to tell you just you have to do it great good luck thank you for watching this is the end of unit number two visa to the world presented by ahmed sayar so i just want to say that here the answers are not given in this video so i hope that i'm going to make another video in which i'm going to give you all the answers see you later before you leave remember to like share follow and please subscribe for more new videos thank you very much for watching